nieces and nieces, how are you today? Welcome back to the channel. I want to thank you for coming back to the channel. My name is Savings Fashionista. She is I. I am her, and you have arrived to Nieces Nation. And over here, we do mainly things fragrances, whether it is body or home. And there are times where I will put in a little bit of this or a little bit of that. But today, we are here to do another edition of my fragrance cocktailing. So, for those of you who have been with me for a while, you guys know the routine. And for those of you who are new, first I want to say welcome. If you would, please give the video a thumbs up, like, share, and leave some commentary below. But the way we do things over here when I'm talking about my fragrance cocktail, and it's like a high-low fragrance cocktail, but there are times where there will be a high-high and a low-low. It's just all about the cocktail and, and the mixing. So you guys, let me say this. I noticed, first, let me tell you who I first heard say this. Jasmine Bullet, she posted um, something on her community wall. And she was just, it was like a congratulatory post. And she was talking about how she was so happy to see um, bigger YouTubers like bigger um, content creators, people who have bigger followings, or even just people that are in the fragrance community, how they are starting to embrace blending and um, combining fragrances, like your body care with your top fragrances. So she was the first person that I actually saw make a comment about it. <clears throat> Excuse me, you guys. Make a comment about it. And then, I've also saw a few people who I think are like gurus here on YouTube. Um, me, myself, personally, I think I am a guru as well. However, listen to me too. However, I just have not been out here growing and promoting my channel as long as some of these other ladies have. But I totally have a lot of respect for them. And they're following so I have noticed that some of them are combining and blending fragrances so that's what we do here on fragrance cocktail so we're gonna just get right into it these fragrance cocktail videos I try to get them out depending on my timing and my scheduling they will be once per week or maybe once every two weeks but I'm gonna try to keep the momentum going so let's just jump right into it. So the first cocktail that I want to talk about, this is something that I started wearing back early, early spring. And um, it has been a hit. I really enjoy it. I really like it. So what I've been doing is I just do my regular shower routine with my Dove, my Olay, whatever it is that I'm using in the shower. And then once that is complete, I start um, applying my moisturizer. So the first fragrance cocktail, um, it includes the Baccarat Rouge 540. So this is going to be kind of like a high, high fragrance cocktail. But let's just talk about the fragrance notes as well as the... Accord. Yes, please be mindful when we do the fragrance cocktail. And I don't get deep off into the performance of the fragrance I really just like to talk about the fragrance notes as well as the accords so it can kind of give you an idea of why I pair the fragrance and how I'm trying to get certain notes to play off one another so I use my um body cream and if you don't have this you guys I think you need it it's gonna make your Baccarat Rouge that much better or if you want to go a more economical route um, and save some coin, I think if you apply and use this right after a good exfoliation, this will serve just as well as the fragrance and it's going into the skin. So I do have the EDP. I bought this particular um, one as a set. This is like my second bottle of Baccarat Rouge. So when I got it the second time, I wanted to get the cream with it as well. So let's talk about the fragrance notes here. Of course, we have saffron, jasmine, amberwood, and bregaris. And the base notes are fir resin and cedarwood. This right here, this is a year-round scent for most people. 
but I do like it more so in cooler or moderate weather. Um, it's good when it's hot, but I just prefer it better during those seasons. And let's talk about the fragrance accords. So um, Baccarat Rouge, the accords are woody, amber, warm, spicy, fresh spice, aromatic, animalistic, and metal, metallic. So as you can see, we have some accord that could be more partial, not more partial, but more favorable in all four of the seasons, depending on how you look at it. But you guys, I remember the first day that I paired this with this fragrance I'm about to share with you. And in the mornings before work, if I have time, I normally like to stop by the um, coffee shop, whether it be the gas station coffee shop, because like my gas stations, they actually have coffee bars or Starbucks or wherever I go. But this particular day, I was at the coffee bar in the Raceway. And I tell you, it's always crowded. Because I got in that store that day, I got at least four compliments early that morning. And I had it paired with none other than K. I. Lee's Vanilla 28. Now, I know you're probably like, you haven't even used that. Before I got this one and this one, I had it in the small container and I used it all up. I had it in the 10 mil. It has been tested and tried. So, <laughs> tried and tested, tested to believe it, however you want to say it. So, let's talk about the fragrance notes and the accords in the K.I. Lee Vanilla 28. The fragrance notes are Vanilla Orchid Jasmine. The heart notes are brown sugar and tonka bean. The base notes are amber, musk, amber, wood, and patchouli. Let's talk about the main accords. The main accords are sweet, amber, vanilla, powdery, floral, woody, musky, warm, spicy. So as you heard me read those off, you have the jasmine. Jasmine is in here. You have the amber wood. Amber wood is in here. So, you guys, these two right here are such a dynamic pair. I would consider this kind of like high, high, because once fragrances start getting over the 100 mark, you know, it's not considered, you know, low in my opinion. This right here is so good. Now, if you don't have the cream, just mix the perfumes. But I think that just mixing the cream or by mixing the cream because it sits much closer to your skin and you know you apply this on your clothes and your skin however you apply it I just think that it gave a total different vibe I've never tried it with fragrance on fragrance I always wear it cream on fragrance this is so good you guys it's almost like creating a whole different smell because they both play off one another. The Vanilla 28 does not take over the Baccarat Rouge and the Baccarat Rouge does not take over the Vanilla 28. They just enhance one another, a dynamic duo. So I have really enjoyed this the times that I have worn it every time or most of the times that I wore my Vanilla 28, it was combined cocktailed with the Baccarat Rouge. So that is the first fragrance cocktail I want to um, share with you. If you have not tried it, please try it. Alright, so the next fragrance cocktail that I want to share with you, it's one of my latest fragrances that I have purchased. And it, of course, comes from my favorite house. And those of you who know, you know. Alright, so it is the Tribeca by Baccarat, I mean by Bun Number no. 9, you guys. Sometimes my brain, my, my, the part of my brain that tells it to speak, it outgoes the part of my brain that make me think. So sometimes I will say things in a different order, but you get what I'm saying. So this is the Tribeca by Bun number nine. So let's talk about the fragrance notes in Tribeca. The fragrance notes in Tribeca are cacao and hazelnut. The heart notes are cedar, sambac, jasmine sambac, 
And the base notes are caramel and broxen and moss. Y'all, this right here. <sighs> this is some good juice. This this is jewel juice. I'm telling you. This is jewel juice. This is some good, 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 good juice. All right, so keep those in mind. Now, the fragrance of Coors and Tribeca are caramel, woody, amber, cacao, sweet, nutty, musky, white floral, warm spice, and mossy. So, you guys, what I have recently been pairing this with when I have been wearing it is a low low very 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 affordable you can get both of these at trader joe's for about 12 or 13 dollars after tax the brazilian nut butter and the brazilian nut body scrub now you know i'm true to this i've had this in my collection for some time um, i've gifted some i still have about a half dozen left in my stash so, you already know what this gives if you are part of this fragrance little world. But this body butter, um, it is a really good body butter. And I do plan on coming back with a full detailed um, review on these two products. So, we'll talk about it more in depth when I come back with that content. Alright, so what I do of course when I'm taking my shower, bathe with your regular soap. And then I give myself a really, really good exfoliating. I'm going to tell you something about exfoliating, you guys. It's something about exfoliation. It's like when I have one of those very deep exfoliating days. And I exfoliate most days every day. But when I do the really, really deep ones, that takes place at night. And in my morning shower, there are times where I will, you know, kind of like redo it. But the in-depth ones, they happen at night. But it's something about when that um, process flip and I do a more in-depth um, body exfoliating in the daytime. And I apply my body care and my fragrance. The compliments, they don't stop. It's like the fragrance is almost eternal. Because I think you've washed away all those dead cells and the actual fragrances get to saturate in your skin and mix better with your DNA. So, um, this scrub, it um, is the same as the, um, as far as the fragrance. It is the same as the body um, butter. So, the fragrance notes in the both of these are salted caramel and pistachio scent. So, just think about something that is salted and is caramelly. So, that caramel and the body scrub and the body butter it is definitely playing off the caramel that is in here. And the pistachios, I think it just makes a very great combination with the hazelnut that is inside of the Tribeca and it just elevates those notes to a total different level. That was my fragrance of the day, you guys. I, I have worn it several times before, but today was my fragrance of the day. And believe it or not, I can still get remnants of that caramel. I can still get remnants of those um, nutty notes, the pistachio as well as the hazelnut and it is just good you guys it is really really good i have really um enjoyed the both of these fragrance cocktails and what i really like about fragrance cocktails it almost allows you to create something that's very signature for yourself now nothing really sticks with me because i'm all over the place because i have so much but if you are a person that may not believe in buying all that stuff and you just have, you know, a few, I think that you really, really get what these cocktails have to give because you're not like all over the place. You know, I'm Little Miss having a different fragrance every day. 
that's who I am. Little Miss using a different product every day. And when I notice too, when I use different products every day, it takes me longer to get through those products. So um, I've seen some content creators make like monthly trades or something along those lines. I think that's a really good idea to help you get through the products. But I just wanted to come with you and share with you um, the cocktails that I have been using. And if you know, you know. All of these cocktails, everything that I share with you, the Baccarat Rouge, the Vanilla 28, the Tribeca, as well as the Brazilian Nut Scrub, which is supposed to be a dupe of the Charosa Bonbon. If you know like I know, all of this is interchangeable, okay? So the same way I wore this fragrance with the K.I. Lee, I could pair it with this, vice versa, pair it and pair it so it just depends on what you're vibing for or what you, the vibe that you're reaching for it just depends so just have fun experiment if you're reluct reluctant do it in the evening times if you afraid that it may not be something pleasurable to wear on your day-to-day -day life in the day you know whether you're working a business owner whatever play around with it when you're at home at night but these ones that I just shared with you today Go check them out. I want to thank you guys for coming back to the channel. And do not forget you. Yes, you. You are great. Bye-bye.